Hey, it's Rosemary here. How are you doing? Once upon a time, I wanted a particular internship. I wanted it desperately. I thought it was my ticket to a whole new life, and so I asked God to give it to me. I held on to a particular passage in the best book ever, Delight Yourself in the Lord, and it will give you the desires of your heart. As I'd always delighted myself in spirit, I figured it was only right that I get this internship. And so morning, noon, and night, I refused to allow myself to give in to any doubt. My mind was controlled fiercely. I am working for this company. It is amazing. Thank you, Papa, that I'm working for this company. My words were fiercely controlled. In a few weeks, I will be moving to Kent for this internship. I know it. It may not be confirmed yet, but I know it's a done deal. This was the stuff coming out of my mouth. I didn't allow any negativity to leave my lips. It was a done deal, and my actions also showed it. I followed all hunches, all intuitive nudges that came through. I didn't allow myself to give in to fear. I did it all, regardless of how comfortable it made me. I did the interview, put on my most amazing personality, believed myself to be the life of the party that everybody wanted to be around, and acted as that person, okay? I wrote thank you notes to everyone that interviewed me, collected all their business cards, had a personal insight for each person so that they knew that I remembered them. And I added a few more pertinent details, details about myself as well in the thank you notes. And then I fiercely, fiercely controlled my mind. I cannot emphasize just how fierce I was about this, okay? I still, 19 years later, remember waking up in the middle of the night and casting away any kind of negative thinking from myself. Yes, I have this job. Absolutely, I have this job. I delight myself in the Lord and I will get the desires of my heart and I desire this job. So this job is mine. I used to just say this stuff over and over and over and over again. I was so thankful that this thing that had not yet happened, it was happening. And I crowded out every other thought with thanks and gratitude. Needless to say, I got the job, okay? Well, hey, of course, yeah, you know, <laughs> I was only like 17, 18 or something. I then proceeded to change my mind, give up the internship, and as a result, I did meet my husband of 15 years. So that's really cool, right? But understand this, spirit-driven leader. If you want something, anything at all, all you need to do is hold it in your mind to the exclusion of every other negative thought. And yes, it will feel hard as your brain has kind of gotten a little bit wimpy, let's be honest, with years of not controlling it. You need to affirm it with your words instead of needing to have a sad story to tell everybody that will listen to you. Just give up all the drama, okay? Start speaking only life. It is a discipline. And you need to keep yourself in that high vibe state that multiplies your creativity. And then you need to act on all intuitive nudges that occur to you. Faith, belief, and intention setting, it's very fierce. It's a very active process, okay? It requires an incredible amount of discipline, which is why most people don't get what they're believing for, because they're not believing for it enough. They believe more in their loss and their inability to get it than they do in their abundance, and so they get their loss. You need to fiercely control your mind, fiercely control your words, relentlessly follow every intuitive nudge. Don't let fear and your comfort zone keep you in a place that you hate. Lead yourself first, leader, and receive every single thing you desire at the exact right time. Or you can settle into a comfortable yet scarcity-driven life if that's what you want. Your choice. What do you want? It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live because you want to. Now, the Prosperous Blessed Entrepreneur is for you guys, for you, the person who is ready to be that spirit-driven leader who does not take no for an answer, okay? If you haven't jumped on board, you need to jump on board right now. Pop over to rosemarylonnynight.com forward slash Prosperous Blessed Entrepreneur. Let's have a conversation. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.